And we begin tonight with new images of baseball sized hail in Colleyville. The hail set off storm sirens across North Texas this evening. In Dallas, hail pelted sidewalks, yards, and roofs in Oak Cliff, Kessler Park, and Winnetka Heights. The hail even set off storm sirens there. And the stones range from quarter to golf ball size. And we're not done. There's a chance of storms every day this week. Let's get right to meteorologist Kyle Roberts. Where are these storms right now, Kyle? The good news is, is most of them are winding down. Awesome. It, we had that, uh, not tornado. Severe thunderstorm watch in place until 10 o'clock. It's after 10. That has dropped off, and any storms out there should generally do a weakening trend as we head through the next couple hours and, and, and get on out of here. So I, I don't really have much in the way of severe weather tonight, but we could have another round or two tomorrow and into tomorrow night. So here's what's going on currently. Still one little storm to the northeast of Denton there at the moment. That one's kind of trying to wind down. It's right near Aubrey, so still some lightning, some heavy rain falling in Aubrey, but the latest scans have that one continuing to weaken. This storm here, the strongest one, just off to the uh, west of Perrin there to the south of Jacksboro, just off to the east of uh, Possum Kingdom Lake. Probably still has some hail on that one. Maybe dimes, quarters, nickel-sized hail, but the, once again, the general trend with most of this tonight will be to wind down, and it does look like not much is going to happen in the Metroplex over the next couple hours. So go to bed. You're going to be fine as we head into the late night hours. I don't have any uh, more severe weather, but I mean, you know, could this storm right here in portions of uh, Jack County, could it briefly have some quarter size hail? Sure, but really over the next hour or two, everything should fizzle out by the time we head into tomorrow morning. Could be a few storms along the Red River. Some of that activity may try and make its way into the DFW area late morning and into the afternoon, but really it's tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night. Another round of thunderstorms sweeps across North Texas, and that's why a two on a scale of five for severe weather already exists for DFW, and a three on a scale of five already exists for western and southwestern North Texas. So let's talk the timing for that round of storms when I return and we'll talk about the rest of the week as well here in just a bit.